What's good, YouTube? Um, I'm about to play NBA 2K21. My friend said, my friend said he damn me to play trash in NBA 2K21, and hopefully I won't boo this video or nothing. I'm just my friend just damn me to do this, and um, I'm playing on Xbox One. Xbox One. And um subscribe for more and stuff. Like if you want me to play Fortnite, anything, okay? Of time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. DA take it. Oh sorry, I'm just doing something. No way. Kevin, thanks. Anthony Davis was among the top candidates for last season's defensive player of the year award. AD said he takes pride in his defense, adding, anytime guys feel they can score it on me, I take it personally. Kevin, it's going to take an awful lot to get your shots up over the brow. Back to you. Sure does, DA. Thank you so much. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Caldwell Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Gasol right at the five. And for the 76ers. Harrison and B together in the middle. Simmons is out there with Seth Curry, and it's Green in at the three, the small forward. Well, fans can be impatient, Greg, especially for the fans of teams that are slow to start a season. And Kevin, the media as well. Right, we right. Play in New York, and you. I remember my friend said he did me to play trash. So, and then in the next video, y'all gonna be seeing me play good. You know, in that town, you go big or you get talked about, no doubt about it. But with the way things have evolved now, and every team is a national team because every game's televised, uh, it's starting to happen more in some of those smaller markets as well. It's just a harsh reality of pro sports. Man, you got to love watching James Scott for the slam. I mean, demonstrate how high he can get up off the drop. Curry passes to Simmons. Wow. Over Schroeder, and it's off the back rim, no good, and stolen oh. by Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. This is why you must get Simmons out the paint, because he's fantastic when he comes to dunking. Caldwell Pope outside, trying to find Davis, he's got it now. Gasol kicks to LeBron, and James throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And LeBron James, still the face of the league as he goes into his mid-30s. The impact he's had on this sport is really immeasurable. I mean, he's one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. I mean, it's scary to think that LeBron can still turn it on and take over when he needs to. And you know what? Playoff LeBron. It's a very good thing. The DF Snow shot is stopping James when he gets that low in that position. He's too big, too strong in the paint. He got a foul. That one falls, so he hits both of them. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Simmons against Schroeder. Harris with it. Against Charlotte. He was really on his game. That one is good from Joel and B. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Oh, there's no slowing down LeBron. Even if you hit him on the drive, he fends it off well with the strength. The 76ers have gone 4 of 5 from the field so far. Simmons finds Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists in the game. And stolen by Simmons. Green with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. That's the savvy veteran. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. Caldwell Poe passes to Schroeder. Here's Jake. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Hall of Fame athleticism and ability. James has no problem throwing it down in style. The 76ers leading by three. Passes to Harris. And stand up by Harris. 
the knee just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy passes like that. Oh, I was looking on the phone. These are his third and fourth. To see if it was recorded. Free throw attempts of the game. In many ways, uh, he feels like he's playing his best ball right now when, when you talk about LeBron James. And the 76ers with a completely new group now. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Gasol. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Anthony Davis. Wesley Matthews checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Milton with it, now guarded by Harold. Shoot. And folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Post game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in, they've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Harrell. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Wesley Matthews. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for LeBron. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Lakers trail by six. Here's Kuzma. Shooter passes to Caruso. And it's sent back by Howard. Howard, one of the most feared rim protectors in the league. And that one's good. Freibel. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. Yeah, how about him not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Caruso, a tip in a... Alright, so my friend said he didn't need to play trash, you know, you know, right now. So... On the offensive rebound. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Now, here's Maxie. Guarded by Schroeder, a pass to Milton. Caldwell Pope brings the double team. Here's Howard. He sinks that one from the post. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Eight point game. Here's Davis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. On Dwight Howard. And as he's aged in the league, Anthony Davis's offense has changed. It now much more of a face-up player. Well, and that's where his game's been headed. His shot has improved, and he can step out to the three, facing up and letting him use his burst. Let's him maximize what he can do. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Now, here's Maxie. James covering. Milton's shot is good. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock. And well, how did I mean? Seventeen seconds left to play in the first. Pocket six. Popped up there for Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. Okay, this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. It's fantastic at realizing when to go for Ali. And so it's Philadelphia.
Philadelphia. Their lead at 11 points in the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they got good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. Well, great. We know he's already a solid score. Kyle Kuzma spoke to us before the game about evolving his game. The biggest area of growth would definitely be on the defensive end and my playmaking ability. Now, having played with superstars, Kuzma is learning what it takes to win. He's getting only so many shots per game, so I, I applaud him for finding other ways to contribute to his team with an eye toward the greater goal. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, 76ers pretty much in control here, it would seem. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Well, setting the pace for an aggressive mind state. I love their approach so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So the Lakers five right now. We've got Markeith Morris. He's out there with Anthony Davis. LeBron James is out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Caruso in at the two. Milton the pass to Scott. Uncovered. A shot by Milton, no good. Now that's one of the few times they'll get away with leaving him that wide open. Right on the bucket. Caruso's got his second bucket of the game to go. Look at Morris break down the defense on this play. If they leave one of his guys open, he's going to get it to him fast. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And, and Kuzma's made the most of it, switching to a learning role. Tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets. And he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championships caliber basketball catching up on the changes for los angeles oh, that's how lebron likes to attack so effective at scoring on the move second quarter we're a little over a minute and a half in and simmons kicks to harris two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul the officials are all over that one. Well, 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And Harris drops them both. I mean, look, every year, Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. Lakers trail by nine. Here's LeBron. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The Lakers have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Free throw good, LeBron. The 76ers leading by six. Simmons, the bounce pants. That's good from Harris on the assist from Simmons. Harris has got ten points. Well, well throughout Harris's career, he's worked on building up all oh, the power on that through that goodness. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Schroeder against Simmons. Pass to Harris. Showing you prove look. I'm bleeding. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's MP. The Lakers with the rebound. Okay, and this is the first season matchup for them against the 76ers team. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor, but they were only able to split the series last year. So there was a good back and forth between these teams last year, if you remember. You'd expect uh, it to be a mismatch on paper, but it turned out to be pretty even. And the Lakers call time here. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And the bitch did exactly what they needed to do. Without their production, who knows if they win that game. On Trezero, he's checked in for the Lakers. Matthews comes in for James. 
Here's Schroeder. No good. Shot missing. Uh, Easy that time from well, Curry. The 76ers. Oh, I want to switch them so we're going. Okay. Leading by eight. So and the wide open shot from Green. And that one goes long. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. Oh, come on. 43 left to play in the first half. Six to shoot. Gasol with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Carroll trying to free himself up. A nice shot by Gasol. Showing the muscle. Gasol skilled at powering through the contact and finishing. Hopefully y'all watching this video. I'm trying. My friend said he didn't need to play trash. And post on YouTube, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Simmons against Schroeder. And Simmons slams it in. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Oh. Now the 76ers on the break. Harris with the ball. Curry's shot is good. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. A side Gasol. Matthews passes to Schroeder. Feeds to Gasol. That shot misses. Now the 76ers take it the other way. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. That will complete this four-game homestand. Green misses off the left iron. Lakers trail by 10. Here's Caldwell. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Here's Schroeder. And the rejection by Embiid. Star work on the defensive end. Embiid is superb at making his presence felt with blocks like that. Caldwell Pope finds Schroeder. From deep three-point range, Simmons with a defensive effort. Oh, and here we go with Simmons. Nobody back. A putback. Changing ends quickly. Getting uh, the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, when you're executing yeah. this rate, you feel like no one can slow you down. And so it's Philadelphia enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over. Kevin, thanks. Joel, the reserves have been a big story. What are you seeing from them? Uh, the bench has helped us a lot. They've, they've come in, they've scored the ball, they've got to stop, so we're going to need them to keep it going. We'll see if they can close it out in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. What a game it's been for Tobias Harris. He had 12 points, and Tobias Harris, a player that can slot in at both forward spots. So, big fella, when he's on the floor, you like him better as a three or as a four? Well, when Harris plays a three, you worry too much about the second. I want you to focus on the energy plays at that four. Dominate the ball, man. Yeah, you can't ignore his size at that. Harris can bully those smaller Oh, defenders. I'm better than. Oh, sorry, my friend did a deal with me. That's right. He said trying to get zero it blocks. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. We've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. Harris and Embiid together in the middle. Seth Curry is out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Green in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And see what Contavious Caldwell Pope changing his approach before last season. He, he knew he wouldn't need to take on as much of a scoring responsibility. You know, and one of the team players, you know, I mean, KCP rededicated himself to defense. He tries to do more with less touches now. And that's the mindset you need to have playing with stars going for a championship. And the way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. The 76ers leading by 10. Pass to Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Embiid's got five now. 
And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. And the Lakers call time here. And, and you talk. All right, guys. Um, Comment down below what games y'all want to see me play on Xbox One. About the perfect veteran winning player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Please tell me. Solid defense. Good I can play anything. Good shooter and plays within himself. I can play Call of Duty, Fortnite. I can play NBA, NFL, WWE. I can play soccer any day. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. LeBron James, number one. And it was the kind of season that he'd like to repeat over and, and over. Nobody was better at creating easy baskets for their teammates. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, uh, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, awesome. does yeah, so in too. different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows oh, what it not. takes to succeed. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change on the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliate. I can play NBA better than this, but my fun just, he just dealt me. It leaves. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. Seven, Curry. Free throw good by Curry. Maxie's checked in for the 76ers. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Morris is checked in for Gasol. Davis comes in for Harold. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And both free throws good for Curry. Lakers trail by 17. James with it. Picked up by Harris. And finished off by LeBron. It's a powerful presence on the court. It's hard to match James' strength inside. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Curry is inside. That's the only way to hold him in check. When he's got it inside. You gotta have a body on him right away. Can't get it to fall. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's gotta be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley oop. Back oh. to B. Good play defensively. That one is good from Joel and B. What a ball of this guy. Let's see if I can try to I mean, he welcomes getting physical and overwhelms the defense with his size and muscle. And the rejection by James. Caruso, the pass to Davis. Morris, left side. And stolen by Simmons. Oh, to do Outside Curry. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number eight now on the night. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. LeBron is so aggressive, virtually unguardable, tough to contain when he's going up to shoot. He shot well from the line tonight, going four for five. The first one falls, and the 76ers will go for a different look here. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Mike Scott comes in for Tobias Harris. Matisse Thibel checked in for Ben Simmons. And it's Shake Milton in for Seth Curry. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Matthews, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. That's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about the field. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Lakers have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. So he hits one of two from the strike. And they double up Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. Well, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the offensive glass. I mean, and he turns those rebounds into points. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Kicks it to Scott. Passes it to Maxi. Milton with it. Free throw line jump shot. 
and again it's Philadelphia. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. It's stolen by Milton. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on LeBron James. The 76ers have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Caruso. He's checked in for LeBron. Hopefully he misses one. And oh, so he hits man. both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Lakers trail by 21. Here's Caruso. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He had a defender all over. This is his first free throw of the game. get like at least a lot of the subscribers hopefully i can and so he makes both from the lock i've got two right now there's a minute left to play in the third the pass to howard and that's going to be too many steps it's the whistle on the travel turnovers weren't a story for him early on but that's changed and now they're definitely having trouble keeping possession and momentum and that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Clearly a foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Looking back to last season, he was at about 73%. So it's Philadelphia now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Maxi passes to Milton. Here's Maxi. Pulls up from the corner. Goes back up. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now look, once Howard establishes himself inside, it's a problem. Which is why the defense chooses to foul him. Green, he's checked in for Maxi. And the Lakers also making a switch. Harrell's checked in. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And Dwight Howard, you know, not the same 35 minutes. Like, oh, I did it right, but he didn't make Game player he won, mm -hmm. which was, but I tell you what, oh man, gosh. he's on the floor. He can still be every bit as effective. You know, Howard can bring teams to go small against him. He provides a big body to deal with other strong centers. I mean, he also gives the team some great flexibility with how they match up. Such incredible hops for a center. Look, it allows him to hold his own against any other five in the league. Here's Green, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Davis. He's known as a three-point specialist. I mean, Green is also an excellent perimeter defender. A great role guy who plays within himself. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And you know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Both good from the line that time. Just four seconds left to play in the third. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Philadelphia with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And don't go away. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Oh, yeah, no need for hero ball there. I mean, you just need to make the right basketball play outstanding dish that time. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at the Lakers. Montrez Harrell is out there with Davis, and it's Matthews. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the two guard. Here's Scott, and that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Scott's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the 76ers. Davis, the pass to Harrell. And it's sent back by Howard. Harrell 
kicks to Davis. Second shot opportunity. He can't hit that time. Nice D from Scott. Philadelphia leading by 21. Green, and it's Green with the jam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. Timeout called the Lakers. Lakers we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that? Or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all... I'm going to play hit, man. So stay tuned into that, guys. All played out inside the lane in a very condensed area. Listen, Kev, I, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being oh. put on display. I agree. Using that speed to his advantage. Indeed, is so devastating when driving to the basket. Simmons passes to Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A oh. great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Oh, yeah, bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Yes. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Tries again, and Embiid lays it in. Embiid. me to play Charles. Embiid's got six points in the right corner. Right. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's LeBron. The putback. It's good on the putback. Uh, the dogged intensity Harold has is just insane. And, and he uses all this energy to his advantage, particularly on the glass. Simmons passes to Milton. Out to the wing. Here's Embiid, and that's going to be a treble. And, and that's miscue number Let's two for them tonight. Sorry. On the whole, sorry, oh, they've been doing a great job of taking care of the basketball. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. The drive by James, and finished off by LeBron. And the ball handling moves of James are sensational. Effortlessly slicing through the D with his quickness. Now, here's Maxi. Tight defense on him. You know, you look at the 2020 class for the Basketball Hall of Fame, great, some great names. Headlined by Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant. I mean, historic players. And all the more emotional, Kevin, having Kobe enshrined after his tragic passing. But yes. when you look at the accomplishments of this class, arguably the most decorated that the Hall of Fame has ever seen. And Greg, you've gotten a bird's eye view, you've gotten a front court view, you've had a, a chance to, to be alongside these Hall of Fame players. Oh. Uh, incredible talents, great people. Off of AC, they need to play Charles. And, and truly, they've been to ambassadors for our game. 132 left in the fourth quarter. From beyond the arc, trains the three-pointer. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the 76ers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest How did that one capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Ben Simmons. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. Now, here's Maxi. He's tightly guarded. That one drops for him. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. 
uh, just think what the score would be if it weren't for him. I mean, he's been amazing. But a one-man show isn't going to get you a win in the league. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Shot clock and game clock set to by less than six seconds. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness, but just a total team effort. He's oh, he's a he's a he's a So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. And they poured it out tonight. Now, nah, I would have did good, but he said he didn't mean to play trash. Oh, yeah. I'm showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one 